Welcome back to Adams Field. Joe Abramson along with Rod Beard. And scoreboard tells the story. The Warriors lose it 27-9. But, you know, Coach Winters and Tony Ortiz, they kind of told the story too. Couldn't get it in at the one-yard line, and you give up two big plays. And I don't know if it's quite 13 seconds, but he's darn close to being right on that. Right. That's the game. Right. Within a minute, the complexion of the game changed, and we talked about it at the time, and, and he amplified it there a little bit more. And Tony said it too. What if? I mean, you don't have those two plays. This is a different second half, and it's played in a different way. And the Warriors just couldn't catch up because they had dug themselves such a big hole in the first half. Hopefully that mental preparedness that he talked about comes as they play more games and get into that GLIAC season. As it is, they're making plays out there. They're giving up plays. There were a lot of highlights. We'll take a look at those right now. First half. We heard all about this guy running the ball. He was catching it early on. Schrader, a couple of screen passes, got him down to the eight-yard line, then he ran it in. Yeah, and I think that he was the focal point, but I think that threw Wayne State off a little bit more because they were looking for him to be running the ball and going in that direction. With the win, Truman State was able to throw it a little bit more. Schrader, 23 carries for 80 yards. That's only three and a half yards per carry, but still, that was enough to get him where they needed to go. There's Ruffin with the catch. Hare had a really nice game. Throws it up top, gets it down to the 12, and then gets it into the end zone. But Jake I mean, Ellis, one of his three catches for the day. Yeah, and he tied their school record with his 22nd receiving touchdown with that one. Um, but, again, just this is the play that I think um, – well, no, this, this, this pick is, by Samari Dean sets up the field goal. That is Samari Dean. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and and you, you, you thought from this that Wayne State would be able to turn the momentum if they could get some points on the board. The points they got ended up just being a field goal instead of a touchdown. And there you see it right there from 20 yards. And, and again, 13-7 versus 13-3, completely different game. Still, you're, it's a 10-point game. You think you're going to get into halftime, beat within two possessions, and then that happened. And, and this is just an inexcusable play. That's a blown coverage. Sure, if you give up 20 yards on a blown coverage, you're fine. You give up a touchdown right before halftime, that makes it 20 to three instead of 13 to three. So it's 20 to three. You figure you get a stop, maybe you got a chance. Here's the opening kickoff. 92 yards later, this game's pretty much over. Yeah. Jalen Jefferson goes 93 yards. Yeah, and, and and now you're trailing 27 to three, and you've got to do a lot of work to even make this a game again. I guess if you're looking at it from the bright side, that was the last point. The defense didn't give up any points in the second half, so, I mean, that's something. How about this? Thought he was down here, and then yards after contact. Yeah, I mean, that's Kulka. that is a football play. 11 carries, 37 yards to go with his 221 yards through the air. Yeah, here, that, once again. And Ben Watson was okay on that play, by the way, but Kulka takes a hit there, and has he has to, to come out. Has to come out for one play. So Jake Amrine goes in for that one play, does the Tim Tebow imitation, gets it into the end zone for the Warriors. You're thinking maybe there's something going on here, but they weren't able to do much else. The Warriors able to move the ball. And get down inside get down. the 10. Kendall Williams. And this Wait, was a key play. This was right a here. touchdown, I thought. Yeah. And Ulysses Ross with the tackle. Tackles him at the one. They can't get the sneak in. They can't get this rush in. That defense, we heard about it. We knew they were good. They showed it today. Yeah, seven straight non-conference games allowing less than, 19, than 14 points. See some of the numbers here. War Warriors outgained them. Now, that doesn't include the 92-yard kick return. Right. But, hey, they. Uh, the Warriors held their own third down conversions. The Warriors improved in the second half. Truman State, had eight, six for 14. Remember this, they were four for four at one point. So right. the Warrior defense got better too. But they had enough points right yeah. after that kickoff return where they didn't need to do very much. They could just run the ball and run off the clock. So they, uh, that's a little bit deceptive, but at the same time, Wayne State does have something to take away from this that they did even out those numbers a bit more. And those turnovers didn't do the Warriors any favor. Not at all, not at all. No. Hey, it's a tough one for the Warriors. They're 0-2. Hopefully we get that outlier that Tony talked about in the open and see them do what they did in 2019 turn it around, get a little winning streak going, contend for the GLIAC. Going to have to see what they can do in a couple weeks when we're back here. Yeah, and it, it could be a completely different season by then. We'll see, we might see a different um, quarterback it's, uh, and, and see a little bit more of what he has and he's developed over two more weeks. And, and he talked about the practices and being able to develop some of that. With all of those practices with him as a starter and two more games, 
could be something completely different. Singing, you know, something you said there. We're going to see the same guy. Yeah. I think we're going to see a different, different quarterback. quarterback. Yeah. He's going to he's going to have experience. He's going to have. I think he's going to have the confidence of his teammates. Now, yeah, it's easy to say, oh, we believe in him. Mean, he's a freshman. He's Josh. We got him. Yeah. Now they believe in him. He when he when he put himself out there like that taking those hits, delivering those hits. Right. I think that gets all the other guys behind him. Right. That's something to talk about during the week. But then you you believe, hey, this guy isn't just some freshman who's coming in. He's made some plays. He has some tape. He has um, our, our kind of back. We've got his back because he's had our back. He's done things for us, and he's out there for all of us. Going to be fun to see. Can't wait to see everybody back here in a couple of weeks. Warriors football will be right back here on CN900. For Tony Ortiz, for Rod Beard. For our director, Mike Johnson, our executive producer, Bill Harder, and our entire hardworking staff and crew at CN900, I'm Joe Abramson reminding you, September 25th, Saginaw Valley State, 6 p.m., right here at Tom Adams Field. If you can't be here live, catch it here on CN900. We'll see you next time.